Hello and welcome and welcome back. Well, today I'm going to take a little trip up to the mountains. The uh, big outline that you just saw, that's the uh, Sandias there. Me and my sister and her boyfriend are going to take a little trip up there. And we're going to uh, try to find some childhood memories, actually. My uh, parents own some land up there in a, uh, the outskirts of a town called Edgewood. So we're going to head up there just to just to get out and see if we can find it. Now, on a sour note, on a sour note, uh, my subscriptions have been very uh, uh, sterile, I guess you'd say, kind of capped out there uh, last couple weeks. They were doing pretty good before that, but. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, it's a lot of expense, a lot of work uh, to do these videos. And uh, just to see some comments and views and the subs going up is uh, encouraging. So kind of discouraged lately. See how so things go this week. But I thank each and every one of you for, for watching and uh, subscribing, commenting, liking the videos. And uh, I really do appreciate you. Well, let's get in the car and head out, take a little trip on I-40 East up into the mountains. Let's go. A bit of glare from the sun there, but. Starting to see a little green up here. Right up here is the, are you familiar with the musical highway? Is that still operating? It didn't work for me one time, but last time I came by it worked pretty good if you're going 45 or so. But I couldn't uh, get the sound on the recording. It's pretty, it's pretty uh, quiet. <laughs> kind of a nice town. There's a nice little rest stop up there I filmed earlier uh, a few months ago. A library in there. Yep, library and some statues back there. Post office is growing. Got a fire? Volunteer fire department. Yeah. They're like sometimes as early as what uh, six or seven in the morning. Oh, yeah. Then we'd come home. I remember it being dark, getting dark. We were up there for all day long. Look at all those houses all dotted through there. Mostly mobile homes. Nice little valley. what this road is but we're heading south on seven road seven heading uh, south on road seven out of uh, the main part of Edgewood kind of looks familiar oh I remember these curves and these hills definitely someone's selling some land there there's the old windmill I remember seeing that all the time and a big old uh, tank was around. Oh, we're on the dirt now. Oh, now we're out of civilization. Taking the rough road. Yeah, this doesn't look real familiar right here. This doesn't look familiar? No. Like going up here? Of course, like I say, I haven't been here for 20 years. Out in the middle of nowhere and the dogs are barking at me. Taking a little hike here, see can see up around the band here. You alright back there? 
I'm off balance. Shush. Ferocious dog. Wow, that's a beautiful view. The valley there. Oh yeah, this does go way back, doesn't it? There, but that rock there looks familiar. See it? Oh yeah? Well, a lot of this terrain is... You can get lost because everything looks the same. I'll bet we used to drive right down through this valley here. To that plain. I'll bet it's like a horseshoe down there. I'll bet that's where it is, right down there. Rattlesnake Alley here. Go this way. Whew. Ah, if nothing else, a nice little uh, hike through the woods. Well, I came back to the little road here, and I'm all by myself. I don't know where my sister and her boyfriend went. I think he's up the hill there. I don't know where she went, though. Lost in the woods. Oh, these shoes are just not, not made for... These shoes are not really made for Climbing on these little rocks. Push up on your feet. Pretty painful. That's a pretty good hike in this heat. It's only about, I don't know, 90 right now. It's going to get up to 100, 101. Makes it kind of difficult. Pretty deep back here, huh? here in the hills. The rough, rough area. <laughs> Look at the horses. Feel it getting sandy? We are way back in mountain country, driving on roads that really don't exist. It's pretty uh, nerve-wracking, actually. Oh, but it's beautiful back here. I'm gonna take a little hike up with the, along the tree line here.
Ah, flies. Why do the flies always bug you when you're walking in the mountains? Hell, can't go that way. When I was a kid, we actually built, along with my dad, built a dam actually out of old car parts and boulders and everything we could find. Try to trap some of the water that came down. We had two cabins up here. One was really nice. Many, many years ago, had the like blue windows, an A-frame. And we came up here one time and someone had pretty much stolen the whole thing. Just dismantled it and took off. Stole it. Then many years after that, we built just a kind of a square box as a cabin. I think that deteriorated and we finally tore that down and made some kind of a porch out of it. Ah, if nothing else, this is some beautiful, beautiful land. I'm not sure we found our actual uh, land that we grew up with. Just really hard after all these years. We should have some, like a cement fireplace with some dates on it. And uh, some remnants. But it's just really hard to find something many, many decades old. Right. If we could find any kind of remnants. This does kind of look familiar. I hate to get... Well, it looks like someone's been back here, though, huh? Yeah. That hill? Now, everything's starting to look familiar, but I've been saying that 50 times on this trip. Pretty sure that's... Just, that's still the... You know what? This is it. Oh, I'm gonna kill myself. I really gotta get down there. Couldn't believe when I saw that though. That's what I was looking for. I can't find it. I know it said 1961. Hard to get in here. Isn't that amazing? And that brings you back to 60s, 70s. And that was my lot. Yeah, mine was over here. Was here. And everybody else's was around. That's where a rattler uh, came by me and my friend. Isn't that amazing? And that brings you back to 60s, 70s. And that was my lot. Yeah, mine was over here. Was here. Everybody else's was around. That's where a rattler uh, came by me and my friend. That's pretty cool. This is actually pretty nice land. Maybe it is worth the. Oop, careful. I'm heat stroked or something. I gotta get in this. <laughs> oh, it's worth it though. Wow, so glad you... I could have sworn the date was at the bottom. That's why I didn't scrape too much. I'm glad you did, though. Picture the remain forever. Yeah, this looks like kind of like steps here, doesn't it? It's just grown so differently. Holy crap, let's get out of here. <laughs> When we curve to the left. A cute little pink house right there.
the canyon here. You can see the back of the Sandias. Look how green that is. It's pretty nice. Prairie driving. Now we've made it back to the big city. Big city of Albuquerque. Back safe and sound. Stop off at this really nice park here. To end the video. Thank you so much for tagging along. It was uh, pretty exciting. We almost gave up. Almost gave up on finding our old land and some memories there. But uh, turned out pretty good. But now it's time to head on home, try to cool off, do some weekend chores, and uh, evidently do a bunch of uh, <laughs> bunch of editing. But uh, thanks again for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it, and I really appreciate each and every one of you for your subs and your views and your comments. Take care of yourself and those around you. Bye. Got to mention I'm wearing my swag from my video yesterday. My hat and my new shirt. <laughs>